Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is where you are. Either way, welcome to Pembroke Church of God. I'm Pastor Wayne, and this is uh, this week's teaser video. This is for this coming Sunday, um, the 16th of October. This week, we're going to talk about um, being satisfied. Um, our scripture reference is Philippians 4, 10 through 14. Also, I'd like you to take a look at Exodus chapter 16, um, and we're going to talk about being satisfied, but before that... I want you to look specifically at Philippians 4.13. That's a verse that is used pretty regularly by your every, average everyday Christian. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me or through Christ who gives me strength. Oftentimes that has been used as, um, as an empowerment to say that I can do anything uh, with Christ's power, with his forgiveness, with his love, I can do anything. Um, and, but that's not really what's going on there. I'd like you to take a look at that uh, Philippians 4, 10 through 14, and see what you think is at work there. I think it has a lot to do with being satisfied. Um, and also at, in Exodus chapter 16, were the Israelites satisfied? Um, and what happened when they were not satisfied? Um, so that's what we're going to talk about this uh, week. I'm going to use the um, the C word, which is contentment. I don't like the word contentment because oftentimes it means me giving up what I want. And that's the other subject, maybe a subject we can discuss in Sunday school, but maybe uh, we will talk about it a little bit during the service. Um, and that is the difference between want and need. Now, my wife Debbie always says that most of uh, the things that um, I want are things I want that are not necessarily things that I need. Um, and those, uh, those that line becomes quite great after a while. So lots to think about, lots to discuss. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you on Sunday. I hope to see you all on Sunday where we can talk a little bit more about being content.